Alrighty, in this video, we're gonna be going over the dollar per follower alchemy. All right, I'm gonna give you the exact formula that you need to be able to earn a dollar per follower. Now, I know what you're thinking. Brett, do you earn a dollar per follower? And the answer is actually no, not yet. Certainly on the way to last month with my new offer, we hit $30,000. You can see that here. But also people inside of my community are making way more than a dollar per follower, like Dallas here, who actually earned $16,000 within one month, and he only has, I think, around 3,000 followers on Instagram. So this is totally possible, but you need the right formula. And the top creators that I've worked with before, some of my growth operators, they actually are making well over a dollar per follower. And it's because they have a couple key elements in there, uh, and the top creators as well. This dollar per follower rule, it's actually very conservative, this dollar per follower rule. You can certainly make a lot more and the top creators are, and it's because, like I said before, for the ninth freaking time, it's all these elements that we're gonna be talking about. So we're gonna understand the game that we're gonna be playing, the value per follower and how to maximize that. We're gonna go over depth and knowledge, community branding, and the $1 per follower systems that you need in place to capture your market that you're developing your you know follower list so the dollar per follower value so the game that we're playing right now is maximizing the value of each follower that you have and there's a couple things that people do wrong when they try to really i guess capture the most amount of money from the following that they have and like i said you guys actually don't need a lot of followers to do this. You need 1,000 followers and you could actually theoretically make $10,000 a month just from 1,000 followers. This is 100% doable. I know this, as I was saying before, um, we have people in our community who is currently doing it. So if you actually wanna be a part of that, uh, if you feel like it, go ahead and click the link in the description. Otherwise, we're just gonna be going over in this video the actual systems that you need. So. Once again, we're playing the game of maximizing each follower. So the problem that I see, number one problem, is that most people play the wrong game, okay? We're not here on social media to become famous. So the number one problem I see is people try to be a or an Okay, you do not want to do that because if you get into influencer mode, all of a sudden you're starting to attract people who are there to just watch you, right? They're not there to then take the next steps in actually purchasing your service or your product. We are building a business here. So what you need to do and have in mind is build a business, not a influencer following so you need to look at social media in the lens of this is a tool right this is a system that you're building upon and, and putting inputs into that get you the return of actual paying clients you're not here to do freaking brand deals um unless you're a crypto gym bro son of course you're gonna try to get money any sort of way but we're not here to do brand deals we're here to actually build a business and so what you need to do is stop going viral. This is a recipe for disaster, okay? I used to actually fall into this trap myself. In the beginning when I was posting content, I thought virality was absolutely everything. The more viral you went, the more money you were gonna get. And I, can't, I can tell you that's the furthest from the truth. Because when you do this, you start to cater towards the algorithm. And when you cater towards the algorithm, you get unqualified followers. And when you get a ton of unqualified followers, that just means you obviously cannot sell them. So you cannot do that. And that's a recipe for disaster. So stop trying to go viral. And what you really wanna do, make niche specific content. And to really nail down your niche specific content, 
you need to understand your offer, right? Who are you even servicing? This offer gives you a ton of clarity and then leads to you being able to make content that directly speaks to the person that you want to service. So nailing down this first is really, really important. And when you start to make niche specific content, the platforms are smart enough to know who to push your video out to. Okay, and we'll talk about a little bit more of like the platforms to be on to make this happen. And big hint is what you're watching this on right now. But anyway, the platforms know. They know who to push your content out to. And if you're really trying to maximize the value of each follower, you need to make sure that they're qualified. If they're unqualified, this is not gonna happen for you. So being niche specific, understanding your offer, which will create clarity on the kinds of content you need to make. Because really, once you understand your offer, you understand the problems that people face, okay? You understand the problems of your ideal client. And that's all video content is, if you really think about it, is fixing the problems of people, okay? And the way I like to think about video content is the same way I think about creating an offer. You have your current client situation, right, before they join your thing. But in the video case, their current situation is a lack of knowledge and pain around a specific solution. Okay, that's their current state. And a video is just taking them through the key points for them to get to their dream scenario. In this case, all right, this is a palm tree, so some oceans here. Dream scenario is acquiring the knowledge that will fix their specific pain, okay? That's all a video is doing. And the chapters of each video is the obstacles that they have to go through. So if somebody is super fat, right? And a gym bro wants to make a, a post about how to gain six pack abs, well then you need to talk about diet. You need to talk about workout. You need to talk about consistency, mindset. And that's your key chapter points for the video. And when you understand the specific problems here, you understand the offer, you understand how to speak to the, the person that you want to, and these people will begin to follow you, All right? So that's the game that we're playing. We need to maximize every single person who follows you, so you need to know who you're speaking to, okay? From there, that gets into the depth of knowledge. Every top creator who is earning a dollar per follower even more, they have an extreme depth of knowledge that they give away. All right, when you give away an insane amount of knowledge, it causes you to be a expert. So this is, the mo this is what most people are doing on social media, okay? This is the depth of knowledge that they're providing, okay? The top creators, believe it or not, right, if we look at somebody like Alex Mosey, the reason why he's doing so well on social media is because he actually quite literally gives away everything for free, okay? His depth compared to everybody else's is insane. He spends more time acquiring the knowledge and then making sure is the best knowledge being presented to the market. And what this does is establish a ton of expertise within the market. So you need to be seen as an expert. And when you're seen as an expert within your market, this also starts to gain authority, trust, leadership, and you can easily convince people to move into your product. For somebody like me, I provide, hopefully, a lot of knowledge within my videos, and it makes me stand out from the crowd. Most people are actually just kind of repeating what other people are saying. They're not actually digging deep and finding the right amount of, uh, or the, the depth of knowledge that they really need to present. And the best way to do this is actually become really good at knowing your market. So this is your knowledge, and this is what your market 
finds valuable, okay? You need to discover the type of things that your market really finds valuable. So to increase that, increase, you need to increase your knowledge, right? If you bring this over to here, now this is the all the area where you can talk about uh, videos and everything, the, the type of content that you wanna make. As soon as you can do that, as soon as you acquire the knowledge, you can provide more depth, which makes you an expert. Another law that comes into place here, reciprocity, right? The more you give back to the market, right? The more value that you place within the market, the more the market will give back to you. That's probably one of the most important things, the law of reciprocity. Like I said before, this is why people like Danco, Alex and Mosey, uh, they're giving away almost everything for free. Like somebody like Eddie, Eddie Cumberbatch, he posts his course, his full course on his YouTube videos. He's giving away the knowledge absolutely for free. So you need to start providing the depth of knowledge. And this also begins to attract your dream buyers, right? If you provide more and more knowledge, your dream buyers are gonna eat this up, they're gonna be more attracted to you, right? And they're gonna pay for your things. It's gonna be an easy sell. So from there, right, once you start putting out a ton of depth and knowledge, you're gonna move on to number three, which is community branding. So just providing depth and knowledge builds that expertise. But what the goal of this is really to build your tribe, okay? There is something to be said to the creators who have this diehard fan base that things just come easy to them. And that's the truth, right? No matter what offer they're pushing, they have that fan base who's ready to just act upon anything and purchase <laughs> whatever they put in the face, even if it is a gym bro with a crypto course, a stock training course, and teaching you how to get a six pack abs. If they've done a great job at building a community, building that tribe, whatever they place in front of their, their following's face is gonna do well. And that's why you see those people make a lot of money, even though they're kind of selling bullshit. So uh, the other thing to this is, if we look at the funnel here, a great community, right, if you have a really good community of people, they're gonna help out every single conversion event that happens within your funnel, right? Whereas, you know, these are typically two to 5% conversions happening here, right? They're actually gonna increase this, the community, because they are so involved within your world a community starts to build a world out for you. You are the leader within your world, right? And when you're a leader within your world and you have that community, it is easy to take these people and lead them in the right direction. You become the guide. And the right direction is paying for your product that solves a problem, all right? And so it helps out every single conversion event. And to kind of lay this out, a little bit better as well, right? If I have a community of diehard fans, somebody like Lucas Pactor on Instagram is a great example like, of this. Every single video that I put out is going to do well because people like watching me for me. They see me as a leader. So when my videos do well, you know, getting 10,000 views, the community is boosting this up. They're liking it. They're commenting, which causes it to perform within the algorithm. And when it performs in the algorithm, obviously new followers come in. And when new followers come in, they support your content again. And then also they go down to the rest of the funnel, right? And purchasing your product. And it's this feedback loop that happens here that is so important because the more your videos are supported, the more people see it, the more people go into your actual funnel and end up purchasing your thing. Okay, so this is the feedback loop. And the other really, really, really great factor about building your community here is what I like to call the restaurant theory. All right, here's your little restaurant, little pizza shop, okay? I guess it's not really a theory. It's more like a, a restaurant um, principle, you can call it. But anyway, what it really is is how do you know 
a restaurant is a great restaurant without looking at the menu and without looking at the reviews online, okay? It's the amount of people that are in the restaurant. That's how you know it's good, right? You walk into a restaurant, there's 30 fucking people in there and there's a line out the fucking door and that makes you want to fucking go in there, right? This, this is what's happened to me in Japan. We're, we're going and walking in down the streets. We're not knowing what restaurant to choose, but all of a sudden we see this huge line outside one restaurant. We're like, oh, this must be a great restaurant because there's a ton of people that are lining up for it. The locals are all there. It's good. So that causes us to want to go in. Same exact thing with your brand. When people see that there's a lot of other people talking about you, supporting you, commenting under every single one of your videos, that makes other people want to be a part of the world that you're building and they automatically see you as an ultimate authority. Okay? That's the most important part. So how do you begin to then develop that? How do you begin to develop that community? There's a couple different ways to do that. One of them that the top creators do is actually mindset content, okay? And this is something that I discovered just doing a lot of analysis and obviously like doing my content uh, as well uh, and, and also helping out my inner circle type people. But the, the guys who can make mindset content, if whatever it does, it shifts a belief in the viewer's eyes. And if you can be somebody who shifts beliefs, connection is established. This is why people like Cardinal Mason and Dan Co. do really, really well. If you study their content, it's a lot of mindset type of, type of videos, right? And what this is doing is shifting people's beliefs. And when you shift somebody's beliefs, right, you get them to think in a different way, more of that connection is established. They're gonna support that creator even more. They're gonna be a part of that community because of that mindset type of content. Okay, the other type of content that does really well is turning how-tos into how I'm. And this starts to form leadership. Instead of doing this is the six step breakdown of how to do this, you can change it into this is the six step breakdown of how I'm doing X, Y, Z, right? Now you're talking about yourself, you're showing authority in what you're doing, and you're getting people interested into the thing that you're building. Okay, so how to's need to become to come into how I'm, right? That's really, really important. All right, so number four, we're gonna be talking about the systems you need in place to capture a dollar per follower. All right, so making content, putting out your depth of knowledge, developing the community is all there to basically get the lead flow that you need or get the, the high quality followers, right? We're trying to maximize the value of each follower and maximizing the value of each follower is making sure they're qualified followers, right? That's the point of putting out the right content. That's the point of growing the community. But to now capture from that, you need the right systems in place. So the first system that every top creator is doing to earn more than a dollar per follower or just the creators who are earning a dollar per follower, one of them is actually being on YouTube, okay? And I know there's people who are probably earning way more than a dollar per follower and they're not on YouTube, but in this you know game right now, being on YouTube for 2025 is one of the most essential things. And the reason for this is, well, actually, when you see creators, right, who are on YouTube, you notice that their brand is a lot better. It's because YouTube is longer form, right? It establishes more connection. It solves more problems. People are intentionally watching it. And what I like to call YouTube is a sales accelerator. If you actually study YouTube, it's all like video sales letters. That's all it is, right? Video sales letters are pointing out a problem, telling a story, giving away some sort of tidbit or solution, and then a CTA, right? That's all VSLs really are, and that's all YouTube videos are. So it becomes a sales accelerator. YouTube does a lot of the selling for you. 
Now you don't necessarily need to have this in place, but the great thing about YouTube is you don't need a lot of followers. Okay, you only, you only need to be getting a thousand views per video to make $10,000 a month, at least. Okay, so you only really need a thousand subs to do this. This should be, uh, let's see, this should be 1,000 views and you can make 10,000. You only need 1K subs to do that. All right, so the value per follower on YouTube is so great. And when you provide a ton of depth and knowledge, as we were talking about before, and you do that through YouTube for, through longer form, developing all of these things, right? And then from there, YouTube knows exactly who your ideal customer profile is and they know who to push it out to so you don't need a lot of viewers. So the, actually, if you really want to play the game well, being on YouTube maximizes the value of each follower. It gets you your direct qualified lead. So if you want something like this, look in the description below and I'll run you through our system. If you click the link, you can see how we install a YouTube acquisition system in your business if you're up for it. But YouTube's a game changer. And not only because of that, like all this stuff is being developed, but it develops your brand even more, okay? It, it solidifies everything you're doing. Because if you notice, people who create YouTube videos, right, they can have just clips of, of their YouTube videos on Instagram and they st still perform decently well. That can't be said, vice versa, right? You, somebody who's popping off on Instagram doesn't necessarily always perform well on YouTube, right? Or if they're going over to Twitter, right? They have 80,000 followers on Instagram, but when they move over to Twitter, nobody knows who they are. But it seems to be when you're posting on YouTube, everybody knows who you are, okay? Everybody knows if you begin to grow that following up and the other platforms become a lot easier. So having a YouTube system is really important. The other systems that you need in place is obviously a nurturing system. And the best way, the best stuff that's working right now is YouTube to email. <laughs> this is the only game you really need to be playing uh, when it comes to YouTube. But if you're doing things like Instagram, you need lead magnets, you need email, and then you need also proper promos on Instagram stories. And then you also need appointment setters. Okay, this is the system that's happening on Instagram that is able to get you to a dollar per follower. YouTube's a little bit more simpler. All you just need is great YouTube videos because it's that sales accelerator as I was talking about before and then having some good emails and then getting some book calls from that. So a nurturing system is really good. The third thing that the top creators have is a sales system. Every top creator has this. And what it really is, is because there's a lot of leaks that happen within your funnel. Leak here, leak here, leak here. And what these leaks really are is like, right, you're getting 100, let's just say you're getting 100,000 views a month just by posting, you know, short form content. Well, at the bottom of the funnel, when somebody's like booking a call or landing on your landing page to book a call, you're only getting about 100 people. That's the, the biggest discrepancy that's happening on social media and info product sellers is this situation here, 100,000 views at the top, only 100 people landing on your landing page, and then only like two people booking calls. Okay, so to fix these leaks that are happening here, you want appointment setters and closers. Right, they, they begin to fix the leaks. They can follow up with people. They can nurture in DMs, okay? And then they can, there's a lot of, you know, let's say you're not getting people to show up on your call. There's uh, certain follow-up sequences. They can call people and stuff like that. So if you guys want a sales system and YouTube acquisition system along with using Instagram and everything, check out the link in the description and we can install this into your business. But yeah, this is the dollar per follower alchemy that you need, right? Everything that you need, a dollar, you need to understand the game that we're playing, maximizing the actual value of your followers, making sure you're getting qualified people to follow you. You need to do that through providing a depth and knowledge. You need to begin developing your community, which will help out every single conversion event. And really you just do that by creating mindset, mindset content, 
how I'm doing content, right? How to's into how I'm, and then also having the right systems in place. So you need a good content system, a good nurturing system, and a great sales system. And this is what the top creators are using, right? To earn a dollar per follower and actually way more than that. All right, so thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.